All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm trying something new. I'm gonna try to write some commentary this game about what I'm doing and why I'm doing things. Um, for this game, we're gonna do it for chalk. I'll overall try and give some basic tips and everything. Um, so we're gonna go with pretty standard build. I'm actually gonna go with Thebes. Um, so I'll explain the starting build for what I have right now, and I gotta cook. I have to cook. All right, so chalk. Overall, in my opinion, is actually pretty strong right now. I don't think he's, like, broken, but I think he's pretty solid. I think he's much better than at any other point in his history. Um, and that is because of a lot of things. One, <coughs> this battle makes his... It, it synergizes very well with his kit. Um, it works so well with his one and his two. Um, and his passive. Next, uh, I've been trying the Steve's strat that I curated, that I cooked in the lab. Um... And it's pretty solid if you get it stacked. I think it's really good on Chalk. I think it's really easy to stack on Chalk for a few reasons. I'll go into that later. Um, next, this Pridwin Glyph upgrade is really good on him. Um, because if you go Redstone and you have your two maxed, those both apply to Chalk. So we're going to get a two here because it's best at level one because it has 10 more damage than the one and it gets prot. So we're just going to back these up, do it. Now, when you pull these buffs, you want to be walking, you want to hold A or hold D or, you know, move around in circles because you want to avoid the speed buff spear attack. That's one thing you want to keep in mind. You always want to avoid that speed buff spear attack. <clears throat> so we're going to pop a health pot. You always want to pop a health pot after the buff camps. Just so you don't get soloed in lane. Let's ride in Thelma 2 to dodge it 2. Alright. So this lane is going to be pretty easy. We're just going to be putting waves and shit. Grok is a god that's not too OP in lane. Like, he's definitely good in lane. Um, but he doesn't beat every matchup. He's more so a god that's, like, pretty safe. You can, like, do okay. And you can be pretty, pretty reliable in your matchups. Um, he doesn't dominate. He just kind of, like, coasts by and, like, can do well sometimes. So, I'm gonna get Totem here because he uses abilities in the wave. Now, if you're really trying to win and, and like, trying to actually win a smite game, and you care about your team it's always best to go for totems even if it like puts you down a little bit in lane like it like it just there see i'm losing minions to tower and i'm getting poked it doesn't matter because i got totem so it's really useful for my team it makes a big difference i don't know why he dashed away there he didn't have to anyway fast it's in mid so i can clear here i'm gonna keep autoing this wave Pretty basic early game. Nothing's really gonna happen here. I don't think. Okay, he's beating and dashing on me. He's actually gonna die if he doesn't if he isn't careful. Got an axe area. So he lost that poke trade a lot because I'm a chalk and I have sustain. Chalk player. Honestly, none. No one, I don't I don't play that much shock at all, honestly. So far this is pretty good. We made him back, so since he backed. Uh when Solaner's back. You want to really try to clear the wave as fast as possible, like I just I, I did there. That way he can lose a, a lot of creeps to power. So since he backed, I'm gonna back myself as well because I cleared the wave. But I should be able to make it to the wave to where like I'm getting the XP. Actually, I'm gonna TP. Actually, I was gonna walk back, but I'm actually just gonna TP. Um, and I'm not gonna get chalice. So it's kind of an unnecessary teleport, but I'm just gonna get it just so I can get more HP and be topped up here. I, I, I recommend TPing for a tier 2 because it can it can help you and give you some pressure, like allow you to play the lane more aggressively. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put Wilix here. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't manage to steal it. There's a raw here. We gotta be a bit careful. I'm probably gonna die here, but I'm gonna try and get the chalk kill before I die. I can hit five. There we go. Ult the fast it. I want her. Go to the, to the raw. Try to juke the one. One is juke. I'm gonna try and heal. Nice. There we go. So, if you notice, I was almost level five there, so one kill would got me five. So, uh, I'm glad the Janus also came as well. Pretty good start so far. The massive W. So since my blue is up, I and the, the jungler is dead though, so I'm just gonna back. Get my thieves online as fast as possible, and then 
Um, I think I'm gonna get one ward. I can get two, but I'm just gonna get one for now. So the plan is to stack Thebes. I'm gonna go into detail on. Um, let's see, we're gonna pause in a second here, hopefully. But I'll go into detail about why I think Thebes is good and how to properly stack it and how you want to play with Thebes. I guess we're not pausing. <coughs> oh, maybe we're. Okay. Alright, so I'll go into detail about Thebes. Um, people have been asking me a lot about it. So, in my opinion, Thebes is one of the, like, the tankiest items in the game. It gives 55 of 55 of each prot, 200 health, and 10 aura to your teammates. Um, and it's actually pretty easy to stack. Um, you'll see, I'll probably get full Thebes before this Athena even gets like half her stacks. And that is because kills add on to Thebes. So if you get a kill, you get five stacks. If you get an assist, you get five stacks, which helps a lot. But also, if you're um, really good at min-maxing your Thebes stacking, so for example, you leave the wave at one HP, you um, take the wave near your tower line, so it does not go into tower, but the next wave catches it. I'll show you later. Um, doing these things can really help you uh, stack Thebes really fast, honestly. like. I predict this game will get it stacked before nine minutes. I'll say probably around seven minutes and 30 seconds is when we'll get it stacked. It just depends on a lot of factors. Um, depends on how much I fight. But people really, people, some, I, I see some people think that like, you have to lose um, Thieves stacks. Um, like you have to lose minions to your own tower to stack Thieves, which is not true. So what we're gonna do here, oh, okay, we lost one creep to tower. So we're gonna won this. And then we're gonna auto and heal and we're gonna drop these down a little bit make them get a little bit low here and keep track of it oh i fucked that up i made a mistake there okay uh, should be fine so that's pretty much what you want to keep doing over and over and over now you do not want to do that when a totem is spawning or when the, you have to you have to rotate or your buff is spawning um oh look Otherwise, you're at risk of losing, you know, your buff. You're at risk of getting invaded, at risk of getting out-rotated, stuff like that. So you don't do it every time, but like, see right now, there's not much up. My blue's down, totem's down. I'm just gonna try and kite this a bit. Now, this will push you on the back foot, naturally. But you're still, you're gonna be a lot stronger than you normally would, because you're gonna have thieves. Um, so I'm just gonna kill these archers, though. I'm gonna do the same thing. See. Soften this wave up a little bit. Having a few creeps is fine. I don't need the entire wave. It, it, it is hard to do this. It does take a lot of practice and it takes a lot of like knowledge and like uh, experience to do this. And you will get a little bit poked. That's why I'm gonna put a point my, my three just to heal a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much the whole the thing you do. Do this wave. He's missing right now, so I can sit here and stack this up. Just want to keep doing that. So see, I'm thinking raid, bro. Shoot that a lot. I'm doing a little chalk tutorial right now, a little chalk guide. Now this guy's kind of into into me, so I'm just gonna try and fight him and kill him. But I'm not sure if I can. All right, not too bad. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? What up, Roid? And one thing that's important is I'm not gonna put five points in my one because I want my my axe to keep um keep the wave at that at that HP because if I put an extra point in my one it's gonna one shot the archers I don't want to do that so um again this is like another part of like the Thebes like uh, the Thebes process is you know leveling certain abilities all into a certain extent because if I were to level it it would have killed those archers and you can't be having that. And also, not last hitting these these creeps will also put me out of like it'll, it'll make me lose a slight amount of gold, which can add up over time. But this is really not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think being down like a few hundred gold is is worth it to have like a fully stacked thieves. Thieves, like, yeah, I'm just explaining like how thieves works, how to use it. So. Here's the, here's the complicated situation is where he is playing up on me like that. Makes it so I cannot hold the wave of my power line, otherwise I risk getting really poked. 
Let's see. Um, I'm gonna level my one here just so I can go for Pokemon. See, we're at 35 stacks, and like even now, like 35 stacks is fine. Like I could have just played the lane normally and not go for stacks in my thieves, and it's still gonna be effective because I've 35 of each prot. It's still like pretty good. Like I don't, I don't need the full thieves to be like effective. You know what I mean? But I'll go ahead and keep stacking here. If five more stacks here, we'll be at 40. So 42, unlucky lane. We're a bit late. Okay, though. Should I go for poking this guy? I'm gonna get my bow stacked as soon as possible. Oh, we hit him there, nice. Side, yep. Not that big of a deal. I'll get full Thebes this wave. And so we managed to get full Thebes while only being while being 100 gold up, which is pretty good. There it is, full Thebes. So now I can start playing lane normally. And now we are really strong. Drook is ones. I don't give you free tablet stacks. No free clout. Ooh, that up there. I'll take him for this guy, but. Gonna kill him nice. That was kind of bad by me. <laughs> he he like just dashed. I figured his dash was still down, but I guess not. Meta right now, your build, yeah. This is this is what I would build on chalk almost every game. You can maybe forego Thebes and go something like maybe Glad Shield or um maybe Glad Shield. I'm not I'm not sure what else I build first. Maybe like Genji's Guard or something if, if or Honey Hunters if I'm going for some magical. But I like this Thebes is too good on chalk because you can kite the wave easily. Um and chalk isn't like a crazy lane bully so. You don't have like that pressure of like, I need to win this lane or I'm going to be useless. There are some gods in Smite who like have to win lane or they're not going to be effective. Jock is one of those gods where like you don't have, you don't like have to win lane and you're still going to be useful. So now I'm going Sekhmet Scepter on Jock. It's really good because it also synergizes pretty well with his bow, with my passive. Tier? Um, I probably wouldn't go this build on tier. I probably do something different. You can't go Thieves though. Thieves is fine on tier. But the way segments works is for people who don't know is every time you heal yourself and you damage someone, you lower your cooldowns by one second. And this can only happen one time every one second. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a mid item, but on shock, I think it's really good. Because you can really go ham in team fights. It just like just the cooldowns is crazy with, with this like this uh, this type of build. And since we have physical and magical, we're we take less damage from the tower and Raijin. Now he's dead. See, the axes just like come raining down, honestly, it's crazy. A two second cooldown on my on your axe. That is absurd. That's why I'm a big fan of maxing the axe and the two. It really helps your damage output in the mid game. I'm gonna back here just so I can be healthy. I'm gonna try and run the beacon. I'm gonna go through two pitwin because two pitwin is a really good item. I'm done with the boys here. I think they got it though. I'm gonna go back to left lane. 
So we got a 1k lead, which is pretty good. Yeah, the skin is really good. I'm just gonna do the buff. I don't, I don't care to go. So now I'm gonna try and juke his abilities because I don't want to give him free tablet sacks for the most part. I'm gonna try, but pretty easy to stack on Regen. This guy's literally just little bro. Clear it? Yeah, you just want to clear it. Alright, he fucked that up pretty bad. Am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay. I'm gonna step back here. I don't get ganked. So he fucked that up pretty hard because he uses dash during my ult. Uh, I'm actually gonna wait in base here for my full crit win. Because it's the best spike I can have. Yeah, when you're holding wave at the tower, you definitely want to avoid taking poke. Um, so at that point, you can just take the L. Um, but if I'm versus a god that has really good clear, like Hades, maybe Yorm, uh, I'm probably not going to go Thieves at all. Because it, it's really, it'll be really hard to stack it. Convict with the Carbine. Super shit thing, he's my friend. We don't think it's about to be any, any YouTube video here. I wish I could have saved them. Sorry. We're really showing them that we have our full Pridwin. Before I use my Pridwin, or before I use my ult, I want to make sure that I use my two on, 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 on uh, gods and camps and creeps. So I can get those prots. The Shark 2 actually gives 100 prots with max stacks. So it's a hundred extra. I think it's uh, a two hundred extra health shield on your your ult, just from your two. So something definitely to keep in mind. The tower should go down because the wave is pushing in. Cloak? Uh, you can go cloak. It just takes longer to stack. Um, it's more like a late, like a, like a like a late game item, or you get it in the other game, but you get the rewards in the late game, which isn't too bad. But you just gotta keep in mind. But I think, however, segments rush after thieves is really good because you're really tanky with thieves, and your two and your heal, and segments lets you bully people really hard. Like, so yeah, I could probably two be one here. I'm say. Pop my two here, go by the Pinotaut. I'm gonna try and one this asset if the Regen will fuck off. Never mind. So I'm just gonna run one over the wall and two away, so I don't get taunted. Let's see what we did though, we'll see. That was probably a bad axe. Should be okay if I see running straight. Should go on this route together. Do not. Be careful. I'm just gonna run away. No a little ballsy by me and by my team, but we need to live through it. I'm gonna back. We'll play. Yeah, it's like a chalk guide. I'm also live streaming on Twitch. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I'm still on Twitch. Um, next, I'm gonna get Genji's guard just because they have a lot of magicals. Um, and it also uh, help with like the the cooldown in the build. Your team has destroyed a right enemy tower. Honestly, like I'm a big I'm a big believer in looking at an enemy's like comp and you know counterbuilding. Of course, everyone should do. 
Um, not every game, but most games. But I'm also a big believer in looking at how their players are doing and who they are. Like, if this raw is like Ben EQ or Pegon, like, I'm probably gonna build Magic D. But, like, this guy's one and five. And this guy's three and six. So, like, I probably don't need to go Magic D. I probably don't. So, I'm always a big believer in, like, looking at their players and kind of counterbuilding towards who's doing really well or who's, like, a really good player. But in this case, we'll just go Genji's Guard just, uh, just for, like, the fun, the cooldown. And then last item will probably go Spectral Armor. The Trinobug who seems to be going for it. So I'm gonna go over here and fight this Trinobug. Throw these all in my shit. Right back. Like the pussy he is. Sorry. Um. So. This right hand is probably going to be in right, and I'm going to be in left. So this is not good for my team. I should definitely be over there. That's probably a mistake I'm making. But the flip side is, I'm level 19. I'm going to be level 20 at 19 minutes. So I'm going to type getting level 20. I'm going to pretend this is like a strategy, and I'm going to pretend I didn't make a mistake. And I'm going to blame it on my team. So what I should be is probably, probably be over there, because I can win the game. But however, I got my sort of item. My entire team is dead, but I have my item. You know how it is. So now we're we're gonna be uber strong here. I'm gonna try and avoid being shown on the wave. Let them have gold free. I'm not gonna do that. All right, Taco. I don't follow the rules. They got golden punch lane. But that's okay. Oh, I almost got my two off. Had to go in for fun there. But I probably should just have gold. But we had some fun. Oh, that's too bad. Wow, that guy's solo. Justin, thank you. You gotta have a little bit of fun every every time you play the shock. You gotta like get get in there a little bit, you know. Even if you even if you end and die, gotta have some fun. So I'm gonna ping this. My teammates could probably do that. But they could be coming, so you gotta be a little bit careful. If I, if, I, if I played that fight slightly better, I probably could have even uh, got like got gold or lived longer. I think what I should have done. I think it's always good to throw your axe and then press three like in a big team fight. This makes Chalk really hard to kill that game. Where are having these, uh, you know, 50% attack speed slows on them. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I want to go with this. That's okay. So I'm actually going to go Oni Hunters. I made the decision. Oh, with the negation. <laughs> so we can gank this Raijin. Oh my god, he's doing the stacking build. Oh my god. The stacker. We cannot let the Raijin get to late game. We cannot let him get full build. Oh my god. What's he gonna build next? What's another stacking at him? Oh my god, Warlock Sash. We can't let him get Warlocks. Or coin. Waste of time. Dear God. I walk in darkness. I'm not sure why this guy is playing with me right now. And the cooldown is just disgusting with segments and your passive. Like, it all kind of works together. Like, red zone helps you get your passive. Oh my god! She's getting tossed around! Oh 
the 323, 341, like, you're so tanky with the redstone in your two. But once it fades away, look at that. 184, 196 with, with, uh, with Sobek Auras. 169, 184. Like, you really don't have that much pros until you press two a bunch of times. With the redstone going, that's when you really get the pros. I'm gonna call it that thing, because we, we could probably go Phoenix here. Um, just because I'm so strong. No oh, our team's going mid. Probably could have went Phoenix, because I'm just so strong. We should probably back up after this, though. My bad. Oh, they're, they're, they're not going to make me finish the Phoenix, okay. Which is alright. That was a crazy toss. I'll push this wave, just... So we can keep away here. Even though it's greedy, I think we could have definitely went Phoenix because I'm so strong that like they can't really do it too much. Alrighty. I'm gonna get Spectral here. This. Actually, I, if I didn't get this Sentry, I could have got a 500 pot actually in base with that Gold Fury. That's okay. Now I'm gonna get green buff, and we're gonna be really tanky. Also, Ryan, it's, it's good to see you. Gotta help these boys. Yeah, that's like that's like part of like the play by play and like part of the guide. Play truck, you have to like say hi to Rains. Cat is literally no damage to me. Just gotta be a little bit careful of the taunts. Attack fire giant! Attack middle tower. Okay. I wish uh Taco stayed, but it's okay. Yeah, dash taunt, she missed. I'm just here, get a big old big critter and shield. You want to make sure you have a high value critter and shield like that. And I want to use my brain here. Because so, once you drop the rain, the loot can't do anything. Our front line is kind of squishy right now, or we're kind of, kind of low right now. We have to be careful. Should be over. See, like, like that. What's really good with uh, redstone on chalk is uh, <laughs> you can go into a team fight, get a huge ult, knock up everyone, silence everyone, and get a huge shield. It's like a Nike. It's like a better Nike shield. Like chalk can only do what Nike does, but like also like slow people and have like more damage. I'm gonna let her pick me up so I can try an axe or We should be at left here. Need Get out of my face. Run. Run if you can. And on, on Phoenix Sieges, the biggest thing is you wanna drop your axe and then drop a rain like that. It's literally the size of the whole, whole fucking lane. I think Chalk is honestly best on Phoenix Eaters. That's probably his best strength. You have the giant ass fucking rain size of the entire lane for some reason. Um, and your ult is also the size of Africa. So we should, we should do fire. Like the clean play is just doing fire. <laughs> I'm gonna try and farm my 3k pot. 
equipment as fast as I can. I don't think I'll be able to get it. 500 gold, maybe. Four things on his three. Yeah, so he has a slow, he has healing, he has power reduction, and he has attack speed reduction. And the slow and attack speed reduction can be applied twice. A lot of people don't realize he has a, he has a power reduction, which is not like, crazy, but like it can, it can add up. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm making this raw lose almost like an item worth of power, almost like with my three. Enemy ultimate incoming. What's up, Ozone? How you doing? So I'm just gonna play up here. Shock is like a really good bodyguard. The body is just gonna ult. Honestly, I'm not even gonna walk over there to the he, he can he can stay there if he wants. He can get that Phoenix if he wants. It does not matter. But she's not, so. Team should be fine. It's 4v3. They should be good. Really. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna press 2 on this wave. I press 4, and there's a big ass health shield. I, I, I can I can thank I can thank Kyan walk into the fountain and still not lose any of my health. There we go. I hope some of you learned something. Um, it kind of sucks for versus Regen. The lane was kind of un unrealistic, but I still hope you guys learned something. Um, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe. Hopefully that video was a was a W. And based. Yo. That was such a base video that you just made. That's good. I'm glad it was based and W. My team kind of went off though. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I ever heard your teammates like saw. I also was like kind of AFK, so maybe. They did.